Hey everyone, in today's video I will show you how to create a Kali Linux persistent USB drive. I assume that you have already created a live bootable Kali drive, but if not I'll link the video above this and also in the description. But I'll do a very quick few second overview here of creating the live drive if you don't have one already. Basically you just need to download the Kali ISO file from their website, plug in a flash drive of at least 8 gigabytes to your computer, and then download the Etcher utility to burn the file to the flash drive. Once again, I'll just link the full video in the description and some other supplements, and it should be linked on this video. First, download the mini tool partition wizard from their website below and run the setup installer. Stick with all the default settings, and once the application finishes installing, run it. Now plug in your flash drive that has Kali Linux installed on it, and it should show up in the tool. If not, hit F5 to reload all of the disks. In my case, my Kali drive is disk number 2, which I can tell because of the storage size. If you use the Etcher utility, you'll see that it created two partitions on your disk already, a fat partition and the other one. Do not touch these, we'll only be dealing with the unallocated space. Right click on the unallocated space and create a partition. Ignore the warning by hitting yes, then you should get a partition menu like this one. Under the file system, select ext4 and then write the label as persistence. Also make sure that the partition is primary, which is under the Create As tab. Once finished, hit OK and make sure you have all of these settings. Hit Apply in the top left corner and then Yes. Wait for the partition to be created. After this process is complete, you now have a Linux file system that can be used with the flash drive. Now we must set up Kali Linux on the flash drive to use this. Reboot your computer and start Kali from the flash drive through BIOS. If you don't know how to do that, there are plenty of videos online on how to enter BIOS and how to boot from a flash drive. Generally, when you reboot, you'll get a prompt from your computer to enter a startup menu by hitting the escape key or something similar. If I ever do a video on that, I'll link it on this video and in the description. Once you get this menu, boot into Live USB Persistence. After booting into Kali, start by launching Terminal and type fdisk-tac-l to list all of the mounted disk drives. We are interested in the partition that we just created, which should show up as the Linux type as shown, with the same size of the partition which we just created. Remember which device it is mounted as, and in my case that is slash dev slash sda3. Next type maker tac p forward slash mount forward slash my usb, where you can insert any name for my usb as long as you remember it. After that, type mount slash dev slash sda3 or whatever your partition was mounted as, and then the previous directory of forward slash mount forward slash my usb. Then type echo quote forward slash space union closing quote space caret space forward slash mount forward slash my usb forward slash persistence dot conf. Make sure to be very careful about the spacing placement, otherwise you could screw up this command. Unmount the drive with umount forward slash dev forward slash sda3. Now simply reboot your computer. You can do this with shutdown tac r now. Once again, simply boot into live USB persistence again. Now that we are booted into persistence, I will create a test folder on my desktop called foo to see if it will stay after rebooting again. I have once more booted into live persistence mode, and as you can see, the folder remains. If this did not work for you, try making the folder again and, re and rebooting a few times. If this still doesn't work, then make sure you have entered all the commands correctly. I will list all the commands and things at the end of this video and also in the description below. Uh, in other videos, I will cover live encrypted persistence and other Kali Linux related tutorials. So thank you for watching this video and I hope it helped.